Hi, I am David Cole, the designer and developer of ZXDC. This presentation is about getting help in ZXDC. Even though this might be considered a beginner topic, I suspect that most customers, even most veteran customers, don't know half of the information I'm about to present here. And considering the number of people commenting about how hard XTC is to learn and use, I'm coming around to thinking that when I give a class, online help should be the first topic discussed, not the last. It just seems to me that if a customer can become an expert with the online help, then it will be considerably easier for him to become an expert in everything else. So today, what I'm going to start with is the online help. Okay, here's XTC's opening salvo. And what do you see? A lot of words. But that's because there's a lot to say. Well, much of what is said here has to do with getting help. So let's just focus on that. As you can see, I've got five things to say here that are important enough to be in the opening salvo. I've got something here about helper dialogues. Something about line command help. Something about list help and help help. And something about online help. Let's get started with online help. Oh, and along the way, we're going to pick up these two items as well, list help and help help. Well, right off the bat, I need to tell you that for getting help, you do not press PFK1. Why is that? Okay, how hard is it to type just the letter H? And how hard is it to type set window delete? It's plain and simple. Set window delete is a better use for PF key 1. PF keys, after all, are a scarce resource. Okay, so you want some help. So you type an H and press enter. And what do you get? A lot of online help. I mean a lot of online help. Where do you begin? Well, you might notice that there is some highlighting. That would be a good place to start. Here, for example, are topics that describe all of XTC's commands, all of XTC's line commands, you know, single characters that go into the left side input fields here and there. And there are a bunch of scripts that I've written and sent along with the product. There are some pretty good technique examples there, you know. You ought to take a look at them. There also is a section documenting all of ZXDC's numbered messages. You know, if you ever see a confusing message, just look it up. It's easy to do. Just put an H in its left side input field. How hard is that? Anyway, there's also some stuff documenting online help itself. Oh yeah, we also provide pretty good support. Customer support, technical support, it's all in here. So, let's figure out how to get help about commands. As it says at the top, put an S at the left and press enter. Go ahead, press enter. Well, as I just said, type an S at the left and press enter. And you'll discover there are a lot of commands. So let's scroll down a bit, PF key 8 of course, and get some help with the list command. Type an S at the left and press enter. And so on. Type an S at the left and press enter. I want you to notice something here. In every help topic panel, the top line always names the panel. This also is the direct link to this panel. This is the command that gets you directly to this panel. I also want you to notice something else. In the panel's name, 
Some letters are capitalized. These are the minimum abbreviations needed to get you here. Some panel names are excessively long and complicated. Don't worry. You only need to type enough of each name that XGC can understand what you want. The online help is what computer scientists call a quote ordered directed tree structure. The front page links to a dozen or two subtopics. Subtopics link to sub subtopics and so forth and so on and so on and so forth. Now suppose I want to display a specific panel named individual in the context of displaying control registers. Well, to get to that panel, you have to give both its name and its path. So the complete help command would be help, commands, list, control registers, individual, or abbreviated to just H, co, lis, c-o-n-t, i, resulting in this. And here again is the full command for getting to this topic. But don't worry, there are lots of shortcuts. All right, back to the tree. Being a tree, when you are displaying a help panel, there are multiple correct answers to the question, uh, what panel is next? This is because there are a number of natural routes through the tree. There is star up for following the mother-grandmother path. There is star down for backtracking down the daughter-granddaughter path. There is star forward for following a family of sisters. And there is star back for backtracking the sisters. And then there is star next for walking the entire tree in a natural down then over sequence. In this example, star next would start with help, then go to help, commands, format, list, control registers, individual, register set, set, debugging, getting started, exit routines, examples, and finally ending up at FRR. And also there is star previous for reversing that direction. These two, star next and star previous, are the relative references I use most frequently when navigating the online help. When displaying the online help, all the function keys change. That's why their settings are shown at the bottom of every panel. This display can be turned on or off via a set H keys command. Okay, let's take a closer look. First, I want to point out XDC supports only 12 help keys, not 24. So for example, function keys 1 and 13, they're the same. XDC's online help panels can be very long. So the normal function keys 7 and 8 are used for scrolling. And for following a topic from one panel to the next, function keys 11 and 10 are probably the best choices. And if you want to backtrack your random walk through online help, function key 12 does a good job of following the breadcrumb trail. Here's a good trick. If you use the retrieve commands list operand, XTC will display the history of your help travels. So, recently you were looking at something about debugging, but you can't remember exactly what? Okay, issue the retrieve list command, and XTC will show you where you've been. Aha! You see help debugging. You type an S at the left and press enter. And you're back to whatever you were looking at before? Oh, I can just feel the disappointment. But the command you just selected is now in the command line, all primed up and ready to go. Maybe you mess with it a little bit if you want to. Maybe you don't. 
In any case, you then press enter a second time, and there you are. Now, this is a pretty long panel, so it overflows and you see two stars down at the bottom. Just scroll down to see the rest. I'm now going to talk about crosslinks. XDC has thousands of crosslinks. Whenever one paragraph references something somewhere else in the online help, a crosslink exists pointing to that elsewhere information. You can either just go there with an S, or if you first want to see where there is, you can type in a question mark and then press enter. And the crosslink will be displayed. If you still want to go there, just press enter again. And there you are help debugging SRB mode. And of course to get back use function key 12, the retrieve key, and press enter twice. Or the retrieve list command will show you the way. Help addressing is a pretty complicated topic that's easy to get lost in. Address expressions are extremely powerful in XTC and they are pretty complex as well. So there is a lot of online help on this subject. It takes around 37 panels to describe everything there is to know about address expressions. And it takes another 27 panels to describe the large list of built-in functions that can be used within address expressions. Now I'm not going to try to explain address expressions here. That's an entirely different PowerPoint. What I am going to do here is use this topic to show you some techniques for navigating your way around this rather large body of information. This panel shows the beginning and end of the addressing topics front page. At the end of the panel there are crosslinks to eight daughter panels and those daughters have subpanels of their own. Now you can delve into these topics by following the several crosslinks of course. Or you can follow the instructions given here and use star next to run through these topics sequentially. Or you can chicken out completely and use star forward to skip addressing and move to the next major topic. But you can also take a peek at what you're getting into before you step in. This is the list help star command. The star by the way refers to the current position in the online help structure. Whenever a panel is displayed by help or referenced by list help, that becomes the current panel. Anyway, type in list help star and press enter. And you're now looking at basically a table of contents for the addressing topic. First, notice the plus signs. These show where the topics go deeper, sometimes much deeper. Okay, let's take a look at the syntax topic. That goes deeper. At the left, we can put either an H or an L. An H if we actually want to see the panel, and L if we just want to see what its subtopics are. You know, if we forget about H and L, we can instead use a question mark to display a message telling us what the choices are. And we can even put an H here if you want to go deeper into information about left side input fields. But I digress. So we got an L and we press enter. And here are the subtopics for addressing syntax. Now if we want to go back put an L in up here and press enter. And here we are back again. Well from the prior panel, we now know that there are at least two sublevels of panels below syntax. If we use a primary command, list help star syntax2, we can get the whole story. We can now see all subtopics of help addressing syntax. Searching online help. Suppose you need to read up on something in ZXDC's online help. 
You know what you want to find, but you just don't remember where it is. So you need to search for it. How do you do that? Well, there's a lot of things in programming I'm good at, but writing people-oriented search routines is not one of them. There are many guys out there who do a way better job of that than me. One of those guys is the Adobe Reader, and the entirety of ZXDC's online help is available in four PDF format manuals, which Adobe Reader is very good at searching. For experienced users, the first manual to look at is ZXTC's release guide. Every time we publish a new release of the product, everything that's new, changed, or deleted is listed here. The release guide is built from the branch of the online help named Help, What's New, and the release name. The commands reference provides detailed descriptions of all of ZXTC's commands, all of its shortcut commands that are entered into left side input fields, and all of the prepackaged scripts that we ship with the product. The ZXTC user's guide contains almost everything else that's in the online help. The guide is structured as a large collection of tutorial topics. A very large collection. Remember way back near the start of this PowerPoint? I showed you online helps front page? Well, except for commands, line commands, scripts, messages, and what's new, this is exactly what's in the user's guide. And finally, the ZXDC messages reference contains complete and comprehensive descriptions of all of ZXDC's numbered messages. It has been built from help messages. This isn't your run-of-the-mill blow-off messages manual. I have expended considerable effort in making these descriptions both complete and informative and, where appropriate, full of suggestions for what might be wrong and what you might be able to do about it. Folks, if you've looked up a message and still don't know what's going on, let me know. If the doc needs improvement, I will improve it. All of ZXDC's manuals can be downloaded from our website www.colsoft.com. Now back to the opening salvo. We've just finished talking about online help and ZXTC manuals. Now let's cover getting help for line commands. Well, first of all, you will see that there are two kinds of left side input fields. There are periods and there are understrokes. The understrokes indicate that the field accepts a variety of shortcut commands. Enter a question mark to find out which. The periods indicate that the field is limited. It will accept only H's that take you to a messages online help. Such as this. All numbered messages have online help. Even this one. When you see an understroke at the left, that indicates that a variety of line commands can be used other than just H. Altogether, there are around 20 or so distinct shortcut commands that XTC understands, but the particular shortcut commands generally differ from one message to the next. The shortcut commands that are accepted on any given line depend upon what's shown by that line. This will depend upon whether the line displays a message, a machine instruction, a source code image, report information, data, whatever. It's a lot of detail and nobody can be expected to remember it all. So to help out, you can always type in a question mark and press enter. Doing this will display a list of exactly which line commands can be used. Still, it's just a lot of letters. So to get more complete information, you can enter an H and get online help that describes in detail what each of the shortcut commands is. So here's the doc for message DBC 732. It lists all possible shortcut commands. Of course, if any of these are still mystery meat to you, you can always follow the crosslink. In this case, following the crosslink takes us to the specific doc for the note shortcut command. Okay, I'm done. You now should have the information you need to navigate the online help, to search ZXTC's manuals, 
and to understand and use shortcut commands. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation as much as I did in making it. Any questions? The e-address and phone number are at the bottom. This is David Cole. Thank you and goodbye.